Hi everyone, today we're going to be showing you the new rental feature. First, we'll click the location tab. And here is your warehouses that you've already rented. Your three warehouses here. The square feet you're renting right now. The rate you're paying per day. And the area in square feet that you've already used. Here, we're going to click rental manage to change it, to change the rate of rent. And then we're gonna pick a bigger, we're gonna try and rent a bigger space, so to 150. So from 100 to 150, and we're gonna pick a long contract for a bigger discount. And the discount will be of this current rate right here, which fluctuates depending on your, on your certified trainer's preference. So this is a contract we want, so we're gonna click submit. And we're going to approve of this. All right, so the contract's approved. And then we wait for one day. So the contract will take place on the next day after we request the agreement. All right, retail, location. And it's, it's waiting for the new contract. So we're going to wait a bit. Here it is. And then, and then here we have the KPI box, which shows how much rent, how much rental space you, you're using out of what you have available. So 35 square feet out of 150 square feet that you've already used. And if you want to keep up with the rental forecast to know what, when's the best time to rent, you click here, forecast, rental market. Here's a rate, here's the trend of the rental rate. And this also applies to the warehouse, as you can see. And the best time to rent is when the rent of rate, the rate of rent is quite low. So the best time to rent here would be day 27 for the Jack, for the Jakar warehouse. Okay, uh, this is, that's all for the rental feature. Thank you, every, thank you everybody for watching.